what's going on y'all welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first episode of saltwater wednesdays everything you need to know to have a safe fun day on the water today we're at one of my favorite lunches bayou coon best and we're going to be talking about boat ramp etiquette y'all what the do's and don'ts at the boat ramp all right we just got here we're not going to go to the back down and get our stuff ready we're going to get our stuff ready right here where we're out of the way if anybody needs to launch we're not in their way and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button guys we'll put out content like this all the time it has been raining guys for about three days All right, so we're at the launch. We got everything already in the boat we need. The only thing we need to do is get our straps off the boat. Strap. Transfer saber. Make sure our plugs are in. And we're ready to back down. And guys, there's people that don't fish all year long. And sometimes they have some issues at the back down. But always get yourself in a good position. Well, you can see the launch in your side mirrors. And just pay attention. Go slow if you need to. Watch your trailer in both mirrors. And guys, if you don't do this a lot, practice at the house. It'll help you out a lot. You want the same amount of trailer in each window. And what I like to do is Go ahead and back down till the trailer tires get in the water. That way, for some reason, your boat slides off the trailer. It's not gonna hit the ramp. It's gonna be in the water. Some boat trailers are different. Some will slide off, some won't. You just gotta know your equipment. What I do, being I go by myself a lot, so I've got my bow rope the right length I put it right there over that post and I can easily back up and I don't lose my boat and I always like the emergency brake guys when you stop you don't want your boat and truck rolling off in the launch so I back down let my boat ease off the trailer my rope will come tight. I'll let it settle down. Then I'll ease up a little bit. I'll stop. Hit my emergency brake. And there you have it, guys. No need to walk the trailer, slip and slide, bust your tail. Now I'll get in the boat and I'll move it because I don't want it parked right here in case somebody else is right behind me needing to launch. What you want to do is pull out of the back down, pull to one side or the other. Well, you're out of everybody's way.
I always have four ropes handy all the way around the boat where it's no problem quick and easy just to tie your boat up anywhere you're at well you're not hunting for lines already got your lines ready let your motor on warm up and you're ready guys pull your truck up and park it and what I see a lot of people do is they'll pull up to the launch instead of parking out of the way they'll go ahead and back down and then they'll start loading all their crap up in their boat taking everything out of the truck packing coolers doing all this at the back down guys don't do that have everything ready you can have ready at the house if there's some things you're worried about blowing out leave them in the truck do that over there when you get this back down it's for one purpose it's to launch your boat or take your boat out snapper season's coming up springs here there's going to be a lot of people that launch guys be considerate be courteous to the other boaters plan ahead work your plan use the back down for what it's intended to do launch your boat and take your boat out of the water don't be putting all your gear load and all that blocking the ramp guys be considered help everybody out and things will be good work good and smooth and everybody will have a good fun day on the water now let's go fishing guys when you get back to the launch make sure you don't block the launch pull over here to the side out of the way in case somebody else wants to launch your boat you're not in the way I see a lot of people pull right up in the back down area get out fool around the truck and somebody else is waiting to get in and out so let's not do that guys let's go over here to the side get out of everybody's way tie up and then we'll go get our truck. Light parallel parking guys. Guys, when you're loading your boat on a trailer, a lot of places got a lot of strong current, a lot of wind. You gotta account for that. You just wanna ease on your trailer. Make sure you're straight centered. Make sure your motor is turned straight and centered. Give it a little throttle. Switch your motor off, trim it up. I 
always hook up your, your rope or cable or strap or whatever you got. Chain, pull up out of the way because you got another man ready to get in. Quick, fast, and easy, guys. Now we pull well out of everybody's way. Where they can use a ramp. That way we didn't hold anybody up. Now we can secure our boat, take care of everything we need to take care of, y'all. All right, make sure all our straps are on. Straps and savers on, drain plugs out. Other straps on. Everything's secure, ready to ride. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope this is helpful. Some people don't go fishing a lot. Some people really don't know. I think that's the majority of what it is. There's a few that just don't care, but I think most people just really don't know, yeah, guys. So maybe that'll be helpful. And uh, if y'all hadn't already, please subscribe to the channel. Thank y'all. See y'all on the next one.